Whoa! Hi. I'm gonna be doing a review on the Stunt Studios um, Franchi Splash 12 Airsoft Shotgun. The quality of this camera might be really crappy because of the webcam and stuff, but I don't care. Um. Come back to This gun, um, fairly good actually. Even though it has, um, AB, AB, I know it looks metal on the camera. I'm looking at the, my laptop right now and it kind of looks metal. And, um, it's the Franchi Stunt Studios Airsoft Spot Swap Shot. This gun's pretty good gun. Honestly, it's, no, it's not a pretty good gun, it's an awesome gun. Um, the sights are very, um, the sets in this are fairly well. Um, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna try to show you. Fairly good, I think. Um, this gun has a, a lot of weird features. Um, a lot of people ask me, like, if I'm in an airsoft war, like, I've actually, I brought this into a skirmish. Not made fun of a lot, but I only got out twice. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that was in one game. We have this thing where there's like a medic, a medic, and if he wants to revive you, he can. And I got revived once. I got out twice. And this um, gun, I guess, uh, it has metal inside. Oh, Middle insides, like there, and you can see like the metal on the inside of it. Everything outside is not, yeah, everything outside is plastic except for the um, sights, metal, yeah, metal, and everything on the inside is um, metal except for on the outside, it's plastic. Um, if a lot of people ask me where's the magazine, the mag, um, it's actually right here. Actually, Kind of a complex way, in my opinion, but you just have to pull it. See a little thing. You just have to pull it all the way down, and then hold it there with the BB and then pour the BBs in, and then that little thing will pop out. And you twist this, and it stays in place. And if you untwist it. It'll pop right out. Pop right out. Or you could, like, you have to twist it this way. You have to twist it. Oh, sorry. You have to twist it like that. Push it all the way back and wait for that little notch to pop out. Okay. But, uh, and pour the BBs in. Pouring. And then you would. You cannot load this gun like this. You put, all the BBs will pour out. You have to load like this. Ah, it's a really hard one to load. Good thing I actually didn't load it because BBs go full fly everywhere. So it's really not a mess, fun mess to clean up. It's kind of like an airsoft grenade launcher if you tell if you talk about it. You just stick it. Oh wait, oh wait, there. Stick a it, and then you turn it and lock it. And wait, turn it, lock it in place, and put it in. And <coughs> this gun has 300 FPS. I got black version. You could have got clear or silver. I got black. Um, cost me fifty dollars, but I got it on sale for um, thirty. So, yeah. And, um, what else could I review on this? Oh, yeah, safety. Safety. It's right there. It's actually kind of a hard, even if you turn it off safety, it's, it won't shoot. I can cock it back. It won't shoot. Oh, wow. You can cock it back. Put safety on, of course. It's not going to shoot. Now, if I press this button right there. Oh, wrong way push 
and turn it back this way, it won't shoot. Because I press that button, press it again. And it shoots. So that's pretty much it for this review of the Spaz 12 Airsoft shotgun.